Alright, so we're going to work on the floorboard. As you can see, I already cut the curve that's going to go basically inside the spoon like this. So how I did that was I started on top, traced it, cut it a little big, test fit it, made a few adjustments. So that's the curve I'm going to use for the floorboard. No one's really going to see this. Then what I did is I projected some lines out for the width. But uh, I want to make sure that uh, as this sweeps around that I stay inside that because later on we're going to attempt to put a sideboard covering this and as we'll find out that's going to be the hardest part of this uh, build. So I'm going to cut this off here, cut it there then I'm going to decide the depth from here to there with my other piece so I get something that I like the uh, look of so I'm going to do that off camera. Alright so here's the back, here's the front. I decided right there where that line is is where I'm going to basically cut the uh, the width of the floor and uh, so I'm going to cut that off camera and I suggest if you know you're not used to doing this or whatever to make duplicates of your templates in case you make a mistake or want to make a change later I'm keeping all the uh, templates from earlier like this guy that I can't seem to move you may need them later and maybe if you decide you want to make another it'll make it much easier alright so I've cut the front I've actually glued this in and uh, just want to point out this is where it's going to get difficult when we cut this side piece because I'm going to have to follow this curve as it actually comes out a little and tapers in. So now we're basically going to build the box that the seat sits on. Alright so I got the seat in where it's supposed to go. I have that reference line on the back. It's sitting on this piece of cardboard sitting on top of the line because that's basically how I want it. If you notice I put a registration mark here and on the back it's kind of slipped a little bit but you'll understand and then I basically mark the edge of the cardboard where I want the uh, seat to go so basically I'm going to take this off use the figures to determine how deep I want the chair but it's probably going to be no no deeper than this anyway so I'm going to make sure that that's straight when I take the line across okay so I got the uh, seat bottom glued in you see the registration marks line up what I ended up doing and I just trim the tad off of each end because like I said when we go to make this uh, sorry side piece uh, we don't want these edges sticking out because it's going to interfere when we have to glue this down and hopefully match this curve so pretty pleased I tested the uh, figures in there I think they look reasonably good I'll show you what I did here so I got another scrap of illustration board I laid this as flat as I could basically tracing around it. And what I'm trying to do is just get these curves here. Um, we're going to cut this big. I got a straight line here and then uh, it'll give us a much better chance of uh, getting this nice when we cut it out instead of just trying to put a piece in, make a cut, pull it out. Alright so here's the rough cut. Now what I'm going to do is basically lay it on the floor. You can see I put that little tick there now I'm going to slide it over so I can see the other side, put a tick, pull it away and then I'm going to draw it straight. Okay, so I got the piece in there, it's okay, but what I want to do is basically when it, once I glue it in I'm going to offset this over the top just to give a little bit of detail that no one in the world is ever going to notice critical part here and I can see I need to make an adjustment if I look at it straight on I want to make sure that this doesn't stick out past the edge of this so I'm going to actually trim this one back this one's in pretty good alright so I got that uh, piece glued in I got a figure sitting in there so you can kind of see where we're going you know like I said this is not going to be uh, perfect I don't have a blueprint but uh, I think it sells itself so that's all we're aiming for alright guys I did a little bit of work on the base didn't really need to show it I thought so basically I got the uh, sports uh, drink cap I glued the uh, push pin on that's going to support the doom buggy and then I don't know if you remember at the beginning I talked about a little optional plaque so basically I mounted that in the front put a haunted mansion on it adventure to inner space whatever you you'd like and I just cut a little piece of cardboard in the back for some detail straightforward and on it so basically you're just going to put it underneath if you want you can glue it first 
I wouldn't. And then uh, just kind of bend the shape in. Put your other, make a mark here for where you're going to put your other bend. So. So you got the uh, kind of the curve of the front. Trim it and then glue it on the uh, glue it on the inside. The super glue. I think something like that would look okay. So there's the uh, safety bar mounted. You can see it follows the curve, so looks pretty good. We're about to make the last two parts for the uh, Doom buggy, and this is kind of a sketch of a profile of what we have now: the floorboard, the seat, the back. And the red is basically what we're going to cut next. I originally said, you know, we might use cardboard or illustration board, but I think we're going to go back to the clear plastic. This plastic is nothing special. Basically anything, you know, uh, it's basically stuff from packaging. So this, uh, like I said, is going to be pretty complicated. So what I tried, and looks like it may have worked, I took a piece of paper, laid it basically up against the model, and basically creased it to follow this curve here so you can see in the center I got this so basically that's that so I'm gonna darken this in and then sketch the uh, the rough shape of this front edge next to it and then we're basically gonna cut this out we're probably gonna have to make several of these and this is really you know the goal would be if this thing was completely symmetrical on both sides we could use the same uh, template for each one but I think we'll be able to use it for both sides but maybe have to do a little bit more cutting so we'll try that alright so here's the uh, first attempt at the uh, template if you notice it doesn't really look anything like the red all I'm really concerned with is the left hand edge because I want that to match up as close as possible to the the shape here. This needs to be trimmed. And uh, but back to the clear plastic. The reason why I think it's better to use that for two reasons is I can lay that over the top, use my permanent pin, draw it out, then I can trim it based on the new pattern when I make my changes to this. It'll be easier to see. So I'm going to do that. So here's the. Uh, the newer version of that you can see I got the uh, edge for the seat and it's fitting a little better I'm definitely going to cut it down because I don't want that to be as tall but I think it it looks reasonable so I'm gonna cut this out leave extra material and then we'll make the uh, the final adjustments alright so I've uh, test fit this several times made some cuts but I think I'm gonna make a radical cut so I'm basically gonna trace this in case I screw this up, which I probably will. That way at least I don't have to backtrack and do what we've already done another time. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do probably is trim some more off of here and then I'm going to cut it at an angle like this. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with this basically how I'm going to glue it is I'm going to start at the bottom and just kind of inch along here with little glue drops and basically form this and hopefully get it to lay flat on this edge hard to see in the video I know but I think you guys can see where I'm going one of the other nice things about using the plastic here is we can attempt and it'll be difficult to feather this clear plastic into here I'd recommend using putty if you're concerned about it. Um, I'm not going to worry about that, but something to consider. So I'm going to try and glue it now. Oh, before I do that, so I have the initial template. I did make some changes on this. So I'm going to trace this also as a second template. I'm going to cut the second template first, hoping it fits to this side. But if it doesn't, I'll... Re I'll uh, revert back to the original and then go from there now real quick you can see the original template here and you can see all the changes I made on the final before I glue it I'm gonna try and put a nice bend in here to make it easier to glue 
So you can roll it on the edge of something, you know, your desk or whatever. You can just bend it back and forth, but it should really help when you go to glue it to uh, make it easier to follow that curve because it's not going to be easy. All right, the uh, side is glued. I'm pretty uh, pleased with the edge. The only part that I'm not is a small gap right in here. So now would be the time to fill that with some putty if you want to do it. I don't really think it's necessary because once the, the front's on, it's highly unlikely you're going to see anything behind it. I'm going to paint this one like the uh, Haunted Mansion, so it'll all be black. So I don't think, uh, I definitely don't think that was an issue. But the main thing I was concerned with is following this edge with your clear piece. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. So I'm going to start, like I said, with this cut this first for the other side and the good thing about it since I traced it it's actually adding more material to the cut so it's going to be a little bigger if it fits which is unlikely but then I'll have a little bit to trim away to hopefully uh, make it fit all right guys so I got the uh, both sides on a pretty pretty decent if I hold it right to the side I don't know if you can see this it matches pretty well not perfect but you know it'll do back looks good what I'm gonna do next is probably glue the scrap of uh, cardstock on the bottom here I'll make it fit this curve better but the the reason is I want to have more surface area here to glue the uh, front panel on what I'm probably gonna end up doing is offsetting it a little bit lower like this so I got the front glued on you can see it's offset below the uh, the floorboard that's pretty much it now I'll go paint it I'm gonna use a spray can you could prime it but I'm not even gonna bother I'm gonna use a real cheap uh, flat black one thing I'm looking at now that I would do but I'm not gonna do for the videos I'd actually probably grind the pin down so kind of the the, uh, the doom buggy sits back a little like that, but I think this uh, definitely will turn out nice once it's painted, and then you know I might print a little uh, plaque here. I got a couple ideas, so we'll see how it looks after paint. All right, bye.